how I can explain. <laughs> I am back with another book haul. Are we surprised? You may be surprised because I did a huge book haul back in December, but honestly, I'm not surprised because I know that I have no willpower, but some of these books were gifted to me for my birthday last month. I also had gift cards for my birthday that I had to spend. Um, and a few <laughs> I thrifted and just bought because I wanted to. So yeah. I also have Miss Noli here with me. She's smelling all the books. It is so beautiful outside. I am filming in a different setup than I normally do in my reading chair. Oh, bad lighting. <laughs> Um, but this is my reading chair that I got for my birthday as well. I love it. I sit in it every single day. It's going to be a long one. Not as big as my last one, I don't think. I mean, we'll see. <laughs> but let's just get right into it. First up, I have the first two books in the Legend series by Marie Lu. This is a dystopian sci-fi series. I think there's four books in total, but I only have the first two. And I'm really excited. I'm pretty late to the game with this series, but if it's a good series, it'll hold up through time, if that makes sense. And I've heard really great things and it's definitely up my alley because my favorite genre is definitely fantasy. But I do want to get into more sci-fi so I thought this would be a great option. And I don't know. I really don't know a whole lot about it. I'm assuming it's about like a dystopian society. Um, there's probably like a group of teenagers trying to overturn the government. <laughs> Um, but that was enough for me. So yeah, excited to give these a try and they're a pretty good length as well. Continuing with the fantasy genre, I did pick up Renegades by Marissa Meyer. I absolutely love the Lunar Chronicles, um, which she has also written. I also have Heartless by her, which I haven't read yet, but I've heard great things. This is also a book kind of about overturning like a crumbling society, standing up for what you believe in. Um, I think there's superpowers in this. And one of the main characters' name is Nova. So, yeah. Nova! Oh, you are Miss Novi. <laughs> but yeah, really excited about this. I think this came out a while ago as well. Yeah, this came out in 2017 and I've always seen it, but I just never got around to picking it up, but I'm really excited. Next up, I have To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Christo. I actually already started this. I'm about 60 pages in um, and it is pretty interesting so far. It's about mermaids and sirens and sailors and all things like that. I've never read a book about mermaids before, so I'm really excited to see where this goes. It's also a standalone, which I've really been into lately. Um, I've been reading a lot of series throughout the years, so I wanted to try my hand at standalones. They do kind of scare me though, because a lot of standalones I've read, they're not very long and I don't know, like how do you emote everything and say everything you need to say and tell a story well in just like 300 pages. So yeah, that's definitely a challenge, but I'm excited to see where this goes. Basically, it follows this girl named Lyra, Lyra. She's a siren and every year that corresponds with her age she has to collect a heart um but this year on her 18th birthday she is set on trying to collect the heart of a prince Ooh. <laughs> um but the prince is also set on killing her because she's kind of like infamous for killing sailors at sea if that makes sense but yeah super interesting i'm really excited to finish this one up next i have kingdom of the wicked by carrie manis 
Galco, but I've heard really great things about this. I've been meaning to pick this up, but it's been sold out for a while and I finally got my hands on it. But I believe it's about sisters that are witches and one of them either goes missing or is killed. So the other sister makes a deal with like the Prince of Hell to try to find her or bring her back, something like that. And that was enough for me. I've never read anything with that kind of storyline or premise. So I'm really excited to give this a try. And I've also heard really great things. The next book I have here is The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. And this book, I think just came out last year or the beginning of this year, but it follows like a girl who has to go through like a blood ceremony um, but when she does her blood runs gold which is the color of impurity so she either has the choice to stay in her village and be a nobody or join an army of other girls just like her uh, so I was really excited to pick this up I'm really excited that it's a POC main character I'm also really happy that I'm able to support a POC author we love representation and diversity here so yeah excited about this one next up I picked up Lore by Alexandra Bracken I have read books by Alexandra Bracken in the past and I think I read Passenger and I didn't really like it um, and I actually wasn't going to pick this up because I didn't have a whole lot of interest but then I kept hearing about it um, and I heard pretty good things and it is like Greek mythology so I thought why not give it a try I did take a classics class in university and that was pretty interesting so who knows? Definitely different than anything I've read before. I know I've said that a lot, but that's a good thing. The next book I have is the first book of a series. It's An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. I do have the last two books. I'm Actually, I'm not sure if they're the last, but the two newest books. This one's the first, so all I'm missing is the second, but I've heard such good things about this series again. Next up, I have We Hunt the Flame and We Free the Stars by Hafsa Faisal. So much hype around this duology, but I have such high hopes for it. It does sound really interesting and it's enemies to lovers, so that's all I really need, you know? <laughs> the covers are stunning as well, so excited. <laughs> Next up, I have all three books to the Darker Shade of Magic series by V.E. Schwab. Um, I think this is actually marketed as like a fantasy, like not a young adult fantasy, which I've never read before, but the world sounded super interesting, um, a really unique premise. But basically there's three different Londons, three different worlds, and there's like world traveling. I think there's pirates and thieves and magic and like, I'm sold. <laughs> um, I've heard mixed things about it, but a lot of people really love V.E. Schwab. I've never read anything by her, so I'm really excited to give this a try and also the Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, which I have. I just still haven't read it yet. Next up, I have Rule of Wolves by Leigh Bardugo. Have I read the first one, King of Scars? No. Did I still pre-order Rule of Wolves? Yes. <laughs> I am so excited to get to King of Scars and Rule of Wolves. Um, I have read both Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. I've read the first two in the Shadow and Bone series, so I still have to read uh, Ruin and Rising, and then I get to read King of Scars and Rule of Wolves. So honestly, I don't know a whole lot about what is in this book because I haven't even read the first one, but I do know that it follows like King Nikolai and Zoya, so excited about that. And the best part, a gorgeous cover underneath the dust jacket. Love to see it. The last two books I got for my birthday, I am so excited about, especially 
this one. If you are on Book Talk, you know everybody raves about this book. So I am really excited, also really nervous to read it. I've heard you are going to bawl your eyes out at the end, but it's LGBTQ, it's Greek mythology. Um, it's fantasy. I'm excited for it. I'm going in not knowing a lot, but I think that'll be a good thing just so I have no expectations and to just see how it goes. Maybe I'll do a reading vlog um, reading this with my reactions and things like that. So let me know if I should do a reading vlog for this book or any of these books that I am hauling today. But yeah, scared but excited. <laughs> Finally, for the birthday portion, I got The Priory of the Orange Tree. I've actually heard of this book a while ago before it really blew up on TikTok, um, but I just never got around to getting it. Um, but once people started talking about it and reading it and saying how worth the hype it is, I decided to bite the bullet because she's thick. I knew she was going to be thick, but I didn't know she was going to be this thick. <laughs> um, she is 800, over 800 pages, so you know, it's a hefty one. <laughs> but this is also like a true fantasy book, it's not YA, and I've heard the world building is pretty intense. But yes, this is definitely a book that I'll have to like mentally prepare myself for. I'm so intimidated just by the size, um, but I'm sure once I bite the bullet and just give it a try, I'm going to love it. Those were all the books that were gifted to me for my birthday or that I bought with gift cards. Now I'm going to be going into books that I bought for myself and also a few thrifted finds. That was a lot of fantasy and sci-fi um ya <laughs> um but that's just kind of like what i'm comfortable with i love ya i think i'm going to be reading young adult books until i die <laughs> they're just super fun and super easy so why not you know and you read what you like but i definitely do want to try and branch out and read not only like more adult books but also different genres so a lot of these are not YA fantasy, so yay. <laughs> but first up, I got Normal People by Sally Rooney. This is more of a contemporary book. I did read a couple pages just while I was waiting at the post office one day, and the writing style is throwing me off a little bit, but I think it's one of those books that are kind of quirky and different that are that's really just going to hit you um once you finish it so i'm excited about that next up i got the kiss quotient by helen huang um a vietnamese author i've never read anything by a vietnamese author so i'm really excited it's a romance and the characters are also asian so i'm really excited about that i haven't read a whole lot with an asian main character the only ones that I can think of on the top of my head are um, These Violent Delights. And that's really the only one that comes to mind right away. So I'm excited to kind of uh, relate in some way um, and just give this a try. I am not a huge romance reader. Like I do enjoy romance in YA fantasy books but romance just as its own genre, I don't read a lot of. So I'm excited for this and this is like an adult romance. So excited about that. Oh yeah, I also have The Hating Game, which I already read, but I forgot to haul it because I already read it. Um, and that was fun. So I think this is kind of like a similar vibe, like an adult romance in that way, if you've read The Hating Game. Moving on to another romance, I got Get a Life, Chloe Brown. I have seen this book all over TikTok. Um, it's another romance, another adult romance. So I'm excited to get into this genre because there seems to be so many fun and cute books in this genre that I'm sure I will love and have a fun time with 
um, if I just give them a try. I don't always have to read fantasy. But I think this is actually part of a series as well. I think there's two more um, and they follow her sisters or something like that. So I'm excited. Next up, I picked up The Silent Patient from Costco actually. Here's a tip. If you've never checked out books at Costco, do it. They are always sold at a lower price like normally this is $24.99 Canadian I got it for $13.99 Canadian that's like almost half off so yeah if you've never tried Costco books check it out I have asked people to give me like mystery recommendations before just because I don't really read mystery um, and this was one of the top recommendations. I think it's best to go into mystery books not really knowing anything about them. I just feel like that would be more fun and just having it unravel as you read. So yeah, I really don't know what this is about, but it's got great reviews on Goodreads. It's been recommended to me a few times, so I'm excited to have found this at Costco. This was kind of an impulse buy. Um, I actually got this with a gift card. So it should have been in the earlier portion, but it's fine. <laughs> um, but it's Anxious People by Frederick Backman. This, I believe, is also kind of like a mystery-esque book. Um, I just saw it while I was checking out and I still had money left on the gift card. So I decided, why not give this a try? It was on for 20 bucks. It was $5 off. I've seen it before um, and I just read the inner flap and it sounded interesting enough. Um, but basically, it's like a robbery gone wrong and there's this group of people that are being held hostage and you basically just learn a lot about these people and their different lives and their truths and their secrets and things like that. Um, it sounded pretty interesting. So yeah, I'm excited to see what this is about and expand into a new genre. I have two self-help books here because if you watched my first book haul, you, you may remember that I said I wanted to get more into self-help books this year. So I picked up two more. This one is Burnout, The Secret of Unlocking the Stress Cycle. Um, I am definitely prone to burning out, especially during the university season. Uh, life just gets busy, you know? Um, and especially now that I have more things going on, I have my small business, I'm trying to get back um, on my YouTube game, I'm still in university, there's a lot of things going on. I definitely feel like this will be an interesting read for myself. I don't have a self-help book on this topic. I have a lot about like self, self-compassion, happiness, mindfulness, things like that. And I also picked up Things Like a Monk by Jay Shetty. This is more of like the self-help books that I already have talking about like mindfulness and happiness this one's talking about overcoming negativity stopping overthinking why comparison kills love how to use your fear things like that it's still a really interesting topic to me and i always want to learn and educate myself finally we are at the end with thrifted books i just have a few here we are almost done i have seen oh my god i'm embarrassed there's someone here <laughs> This is why you don't film in front of a huge open window because people will walk by and see you and you'll get embarrassed. <laughs> Please leave. Okay, good. Woo! Okay, we're back. <laughs> um, but the first book I thrifted is A Little Life by Hanya Yang. I'm so sorry. Hanya Yanagihara. Um, I've heard this book is super heartbreaking. It deals with a lot of darker topics like childhood trauma, addiction, things like that. So definitely check trigger warnings if you are interested in reading this book. But it basically follows a group of young men going through college and it goes into like addiction, success, found families, families you're born into, things like that. 
definitely something completely different than what I've read before but I've heard really amazing things so I'm excited to give it a try and I was so excited to find it at the thrift store. The last four books that I have in this entire haul um, and the ones that I thrifted actually all go together. So I thrifted the first four books in the Tiger's Curse series on three separate occasions so I am so excited that I was able to find all of these and they're all like in hard covers they all match so yeah the first book is called Tiger's Curse the second one is called Tiger's Quest the third is Tiger's Voyage and the fourth is Tiger's Destiny. I do think there is one more after this one, but it's relatively new. It's a fantasy series that takes place in India. There's magic, there's tigers. Um, it's just, I've never read anything with tigers or that was set in India. So I'm really excited to read an entire series about it. Um, and I've heard really good things it is a little bit more underrated i haven't seen a lot of people talk about it but the people who have really love it and that is it for this huge book haul if you made it to the end of this video you are amazing thank you so much for watching comment hmm comment you have a book buying problem and need to go on a book buying ban to let me know that you made it this far but if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know it also really helps me out um leave a comment down below if you made it this far or a comment saying anything you want give me book recommendations video recommendations anything <laughs> for more videos every wednesday i've been doing pretty well so far be sure to hit the subscribe button i try my best to post every single wednesday i have so many videos coming soon and as always i love you so much thank you for all your love and support it truly means the world to me thanks for watching we'll see you guys next week bye Mwah. ow <laughs>